2015 was a year that saw police shootings of unarmed people of color continue at an alarming rate. 2015 was also a year where high unemployment was the reality for too many urban residents. In this video, we'll share with you how the Urban League movement has worked to become a part of the solution to America's most pressing problems. And by the way, become a part of us. Follow us on Twitter, at Nat Urban League. Visit us online at NUL. With the rallying call, Save Our Cities, Education, Jobs, and Justice, 2015 was a year of tremendous growth and the work of empowerment for the National Urban League. Understanding that small businesses are key to job creation, the National Urban League Entrepreneurship Center program offered technical support, management training, and access to capital for small business owners across the country. In March 2015, the State of Black America report, Save Our Cities, Education, Jobs, and Justice, was released, highlighting the crisis facing African Americans and other communities of color in education, employment, and justice. The report was produced in an all new digital and interactive format with an ebook, video animation, web series, and launch of an all new website, stateofblackamerica.org. The 2015 Legislative Policy Conference on Capitol Hill attracted hundreds of urban leaguers and made way for a historic meeting in the White House. The National Urban League was chosen as one of the inaugural charity recipients for the first ever Red Nose Day in the U.S. Political, business, and community leaders convened at the 2015 National Urban League Conference in Fort Lauderdale, Florida in July. 2016 presidential candidates Jeb Bush, Ben Carson, Hillary Clinton, Martin O'Malley, and Bernie Sanders appeared for the first time ever on the same stage at the 2015 conference. With over 9,000 visitors to the NUL Experience Expo Hall, including 2,000 attendees for the Career and Networking Fair, the conference offered free resources to the local community. The inaugural Tech Connect Hackathon for Social Justice attracted seven teams developing and sharing tech solutions to improve civic innovations and quality of life for urban Urban America. The National Urban League's Workforce Development Program served over 2,000 people with the opportunity to obtain gainful employment through a number of initiatives, including the Mature Worker Program, the Urban Youth Empowerment Program, the California Construction Trades. These life-changing programs have transitioned people out of halfway houses into gainful employment and home ownership, as well as providing positive legal alternatives and jobs to former youth youth offenders. The National Urban League marked the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina with the Rise Katrina 10 Commemorative Conference in conjunction with the Urban League of Greater New Orleans. The National Urban League supported a full range of education and youth development services for many Urban League affiliates across the country. The 2015 funded Project Ready enhancements included Project Ready STEM and Financial Capability Asset Building, in October, the National Urban League convened the National Higher Education Summit in Washington, D.C. This unprecedented gathering, including students, mayors from Boston and Atlanta, Governor Markell of Delaware, the president of Howard University, education advocates, leaders from community colleges, state systems, and more, confronted the urgent need to enhance college and career success for students of color and low-income students to be fully prepared to meet the challenges of the 21st century workforce. In this new era of civil rights, the National Urban League continues to be on the forefront of urban advocacy and the fight for education, jobs, and justice. Join us as we continue to empower communities and change lives. To find out how you can participate, visit NUL.org and follow us on social media at Nat Urban League.